What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV, man. And listen, Kamara Lee Simmons is out of her goddamn mind. She's out of her rabid-ass mind, and I don't know what the hell she's thinking. Now, for, for those who don't know, Kamora Lee Simmons, ex-wife of Mr. Russell Simmons, is now being sued by Russell Simmons because she was stealing shares of a company, of a business that they're all in together. Her, Kamora Lee Simmons' husband, and her ex-husband, Russell Simmons, are all in the business together. Kamora was stealing shares of Russell Simmons' money in order to fund her husband's lawyer fees, her husband's legal fees, for him being in a billion-dollar money laundering scheme. Yes, absolutely. If you think of what I'm thinking, yes. The man was trying to get out of money laundering by doing some more money laundering. Come on, man. You can't. That, that, that sounds absolutely crazy. That's crazy, man. Um... Kamora Lee Simmons has a new husband. You know, apparently he makes a whole, whole lot of money because that's what you got to make in order to be with Kamora. In order to be with Kamora, you got to have that bag right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. And I always used to joke because I said, man, Kamora will marry anybody if that bag is right. If that money's sitting right, she'll get you, she'll marry you with the quickness. Um, I know before she was with Jaiman Hansu, the African actor. Uh, they had they had a child together, I believe, but I think she's uh she never married that she never married Jaiman Hansu. But now she's with another guy, right? Her husband now, her current husband was in a billion dollar money laundering scheme and now he owes $43 million back. Yes, $43 million back. And you know what the solution was to all of that? Kamora said, okay, we gonna figure this out. We already in business with Russell. We gonna steal some of his money to get you out of this, baby. That's what she said. We gonna steal some of this money, some of his money to get you up out of this. Now, if y'all don't, that's some that's some of the most trifling shit I ever heard in my life. That's so shysty, especially considering the fact that Kamora has children with Russell Simmons. They have children together. So now it puts a weird twist or an angle on this because Russell Simmons got to sue the mother of his children in order to get what's owed to him because the mother of his children was out here doing them bogus, doing them shysty. And I'm like, man, that, that just puts every that makes everything so wild and twisted. Now he has to explain to the kids. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, they're grown. His children are grown, but he got to like, man, look, I'm sorry, y'all, but daddy got to do what he got to do. I got to get my money back because your mother was out here doing something foul to me, and I can't let it happen. I can't let it continue. I got to put a stop to this, a halt to this. And, I, and I'm reading the story, and I'm like, Kamora was out here robbing Peter to pay Paul. Seriously, like, come on, man. Like, if anything, you better use some of that baby fat money. I know she made a lot of money off baby fat because I remember back in the day in high school, all the little girls in the hood had the baby fat coat with the fur on the top of the hood. And they always used to wear the little coat, the black baby fat coat with the fur on the hood. They, the one they used to wear in the morning when they was out there eating the flaming Hot Chips <laughs> and, the, uh, and the Dill Pickles. I remember back in the day. All Everybody, all the girls at school had the baby fat coat, the baby fat apparel. It was super in style and super in fashion. Like, it was just... It was the it thing, and, and a lot of girls had it during my time. So I know she made a lot of money from it, and I even remember or heard of her trying to bring baby fat back at one point, right? So she better use some of that baby fat money, but you can't use none of my money in order to pay for your husband's criminal activity. Your husband want to be a criminal. He want to engage in criminal ways. He got to deal with the consequences and repercussions of that. I'm not going to get him out of this. You're not going to especially take him out of it. Without even acknowledge, asking me, without even, you know, asking, can I help or whatever? You just going to take my money? Just take my bread and think I'm going to be cool with it and I'm not going to notice it? Come on now. She couldn't have thought Russell wasn't going to see that. She been knowing Russell all her life. I mean, for a majority of her life. She know Russell going to be like, nah, man, this ain't going down. I ain't having that. You know what I mean? And so she, rightfully so, Russell Simmons is now suing. But I just find it crazy like Kimora. When I used to look at Kimora when I was a kid, I'm not going to even lie. I'm not just saying this because of this news. Kamora always looked like a woman that'll do something. Like she looked like a shysty person. Like she'll do something shysty. Try to get all you like she do she just seemed she had that look about her. I don't know what it was. She just had a vibe about her. Like, listen, in order to get over or to, to win in any type of way, she'll get over on some folks in a heartbeat. And it just seemed like, hey, she'll take your money now. She will take your money. So now she's helping her husband launder some more money. Why he's dealing with a money laundering whole a whole money laundering case, which is crazy, man. But it's like, I don't know, man. It, especially the, due to the fact that Russell helped put Kamora in position in order to thrive in her own company. And listen, I'm gonna give her her respect because she thrived in that business. She was a hustler. 
She got the business popping. She made it fashionable for all the young girls to wear, and people were loving it, and people were wearing it all the time, right? But it's the thing of, yeah, yeah, I help you, you know, you would think if a man helped you, helped to put you in position. Now, she made the business thrive herself, but he helped put her in position. If a man helped, helped put you in position to make millions and millions of dollars, you would be like, man, you know what? I ain't going to never do nothing wrong, but I ain't going to do nothing wrong by that man. That man did me right. I ain't going to, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And even now, after y'all been divorced for so many years, y'all all still cordial. I thought the respect was always there and all of that. You know what I mean? Y'all all still cordial. All still got love for each other. You wouldn't do him bogus like that. You wouldn't do him foul like that, especially for some, for a new guy. Now, I understand. I don't know. She probably been married to him for a while. I don't know how long she's been married to the guy, to the to her new husband. But you would think, man, you know, listen, Russell ain't, ain't Russell helped me put, put me in position. He helped to put me on. I ain't going to do him like that. But she wasn't thinking like that at all. She said, you know what? I want to get her. She said she wanted to get her husband out of this. She gonna steal from my old husband, right? Ah, uh, man, y'all, I said hell no, no, fam. I'm with Russell Simmons. You gotta sue to get what you are owed, and I need every single penny back, every single penny back, cause that ain't cool. That's just, that's just not, man. That, that, that's, that's just low. That's just low. And I understand Russell Simmons being heated, and I would be super heated if that was me. If that was me, I'd be pissed off because I'm like, nah, man, there's no way you're going to do this to me after I didn't already went into business, business with y'all and agreed with all this, you know, we're going to make some money or whatever, and I didn't help put you in position over the years. I know Russell Simmons take good care. I'm sure he, I'm not going to say I know. I'm sure he takes good care of his children and all of that. Like, nah, man, you're not going to be out here trying to get, uh, pull the wool over my eye, eyes like that. You're not doing that to me. Uh-uh, it's not going down. And tell your, new, tell your new husband, I'm not a goofy over here. I see what's going on. If you want to be a damn criminal, he got to take deal with them consequences on his own with his criminal ass. Now, this is a, it's an example, too. Because everybody making fun of all the black folks in the hood for the PPP loans and getting over and scamming and scheming through the pandemic. Well, it looks to be that black folks is not like black folks in the hood ain't the only ones scamming and scheming. It's a lot of other non-black folks scamming and scheming and, the, and they the rich ones, too. The rich ones are always trying to get over. They always trying to scam and scheme and scheme their way into uh into some money as best as possible. And they act like they out here doing it all the legal way, doing it the right way. They oh man, I just work really hard and all that. They out here scamming and scheming like it ain't nothing. Riches riches can be. So they figure they can get away with it because they're rich and people are gonna believe, hey, listen, he got a lot of money so he can get over and do what he wanna do. And a lot of rich people think they can do whatever the hell they wanna do in the first place, which makes which makes sense why Kimora thought she can get away with robbing her husband, and uh, her ex-husband, another rich man. I don't know what the hell, but she thought she can rob him blind in order to make sure her new husband is all well and taken care of. What the hell? Like, nah, man, it ain't going down. Rich people out here scamming, too. Through this pandemic, they out here scamming and scheming as best as possible in order to keep getting money and in order to keep thriving, right? And I don't, um, I don't condone scheming on no end. On no end, right? I don't condone scheming at all. But I want people to know it ain't just the black folks in the hood that you see is out here scamming and scheming. Yeah, you see them with nice clothes and all that, but the rich ones, they out here getting down and bamboozling people like it ain't nothing, right? But the moral of the story is this, man. Kamora Lee Simmons, you foul. It ain't really the moral. The lesson of the, the whole objective of this video is Kamora Lee Simmons, you foul. And when you do something like that, you got to pay. You got to pay. Russell Simmons said he want his bread back and then some. You have to pay me. I don't care. You out here doing this. Y'all want to keep being criminals after y'all already done got into a situation. Now I'm going to make it hard on you. Now you're going to give me this bread back. Give me all that back. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. <laughs> you might need to throw in some emotional distress. Oh, my God. I saw my money. I just lost it. I had anxiety, anxiety attacks. I was out here just crying and bawling every single day. Oh my God, I was out here just going through a depression because I took all my money. They took my money away from me. Oh Lord, I'd be, listen, I need emotional distress too. Give me that. I need all that. Give me that bread back and you can go on about your way. You know what I'm saying? We can keep co-parenting these kids or whatever, but I ain't really even got to talk to you and deal with you. You foul out here. Look, the kids grown. I'm going to look. Nah, give me my money back and we can go our separate ways and we can go ahead and just dissolve whatever we got to do. But nah, man, you ain't going to be stealing from me. And thinking it's cool, and I'm thinking I'm going to let you ride with it. Hell no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.